In episode 125 of Dragon Ball Super, the Popeye-armed warrior of justice let loose with the transformation of the ages, transforming his pot belly into abs of steel that Arnold Schwarzenegger would be proud of. But what exactly did he do? And if he is a god of destruction, why is he not disqualified? So as we see, Topo is battling 17 and getting the upper hand, however, Frieza jumps in to help him, getting caught between the two blasts is almost eliminated, but being able to withstand the blast, he says, Justice is worthless now, I've made up my mind. So what happens in this instance is that since he doesn't seem to be able to take on both Golden Frieza and 17, he decides to tap into his God of Destruction energy, which as Vermouth explains, is energy that only Gods of Destruction possess. And according to Vermouth, he is no different than a God of Destruction, and according to Universe 11's Angel, it is revealed that Topo has been doing some sort of secret training as a candidate for God of Destruction, which explains how he is able to tap into this energy of destruction. Which is very interesting considering he wasn't using this power beforehand and only decided that, okay, the stakes are high enough to where I can, you know, cast aside my ideals of justice and being like a fair fighter and now just use this destruction energy because survival of my universe is all that matters now. And logically speaking, he would need to go through some sort of training regime to be able to tap into this God of Destruction power, utilize it so that he can at least control it a little bit, because if this energy is not controlled, I mean, this is this is pure destruction energy here. And if it just goes, you know, rampant, uncontrolled, you can just like easily just wipe from existence everything around you. So now in this episode, he shows the results of this training. Well, the way I see it, aside from the physical attributes that he takes on, is that it is similar to Goku and Vegeta's Super Saiyan Blue forms, how they were training with Whis and in the use of God Key, Topo was on the other hand trained in the use of God of Destruction energy. So this is kind of like his God of Destruction equivalent of Super Saiyan Blue. And as far as his aura goes, the reason why Frieza's blasts and 17's rocks and blasts were just nullified once they even got close to Topo was that his aura is destruction energy, so nothing can really get past it it is just instantly nullified and erased. And again, this is the result of his God of Destruction candidate training that he's been doing. And he's probably been doing a lot of it to be able to control this aura to the degree he has. However, we have a little scene where he is charging up a God of Destruction blast, 17 nullifies it with a rock. So it kind of shows, yes, he has a lot of control over this, however, his training obviously isn't complete, so he doesn't have, like, a real God of Destruction grasp or, you know, the amount of control that a, a real God of Destruction would have. Now, speaking of real Gods of Destruction, why is Topo not disqualified here? At least not yet. Vermouth literally says, he is no different than a god of destruction. Well, here is how I see it. Yes, Topo is basically a god of destruction. However, he is not the god of destruction. Now, it's stated that gods of destruction were exempt from being able to participate in the Tournament of Power. However, this does not necessarily mean that they can't use God of Destruction energy to power themselves up, similar to Goku and Vegeta using their God Key to power themselves up. So although, yes, Topo is basically a God of Destruction with that energy, he is not the God of Destruction. He has not replaced Vermouth. Vermouth is still the God of Destruction of Universe 11. So while yes, the Kais and Gods of Destruction of the universes cannot participate, it does not mean that warriors can't utilize God of Destruction energy. So only the official Kais, the official Gods of Destruction are exempt from the tournament. Kind of like how a coach on a football team can't just go out in the field and start throwing the football around, you know? 
Although it could have been a rule made in fairness, like the gods of destruction are too powerful for regular mortals, but then you got guys like Jiren, and now you got guys like Topo, Blue Kaioken, Goku, Chibi-eyed Vegeta, so that's kind of quickly going out the window, because now you got mortals that are getting close to god of destruction levels of power. So what do you think? How do you interpret these things? Why do you think Topo is not disqualified, at least not yet? And uh, hopefully I'm pretty accurate with this. I try to be as accurate as I possibly can. And we haven't seen much of God of Destruction Topo yet. So there may be more to come in terms of information about this. But as always, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel and take it easy.